Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. We've got some more questions sent in by our crypto curious people, <clears throat> and I will answer them for you now. First question, what is Boston Coin and how long has it been available? Boston Coin is the world's first diversified crypto mutual fund or crypto managed fund. It started back in January 2016 as a beta test with a small group of investors. And then in January 2018, it was actually launched to the public. Uh, for those people who are uh, familiar with managed funds and mutual funds, you'll understand there's a bit of a pie chart that shows you all the different stocks and shares and bonds or whatnot that things invest into. Um, Boston Coin concentrates on cryptocurrencies, obviously Ethereum, Bitcoin, the big ones, a lot of altcoins and also crypto related tech stocks. So all of the cryptocurrencies are out there still running on the internet. There's being sold on exchanges and still running on the fiber optic networks. So we actually invest into the exchanges and the fiber optic networks because we're never sure when a new coin is going to come out, when something's going to happen to Bitcoin. And obviously the exchanges make money whether the coins are going up or down and the fiber optic network makes money because of the traffic on the internet. So we're hedging our bets by looking at different scenarios in that way. What percentage return has it received from its launch? Um, great question. You will need to check the blog on uh, bostontrading.co because we update the uh, performance figures there every month. They're also updated on Morningstar. Boston Coin was the first diversified crypto fund to be listed on Morningstar, which is a huge international thing that lists all of the available mutual funds and managed funds in the world for different uh, different risk profiles and risk appetites and depending on whether you want to invest in China or India or US or Australia or mining stocks or whatever there's there's literally tens of thousands of different mutual funds listed on Morningstar and Boston Coin was the first crypto fund to be listed on Morningstar. Uh, question why wouldn't I just buy Bitcoin and perhaps Ethereum? Well that's a great question. Um, in your stock portfolio, you could buy, say, just banking stocks or just airline stocks. Obviously, every now and then we have a plane crash and airlines go down. Every now and then we have a recession, a depression, a GFC kind of event, and the banks will go down. So the idea is to diversify amongst different stocks and different cryptocurrencies. And obviously, Bitcoin and Ethereum, like the top two coins in the world, they're not exactly going to double overnight. So they're safe, they're secure, they're well known. They've been around for six, seven years in Ethereum's case and 13, 14 years in Bitcoin's case. But obviously there's some new other runners who come out of nowhere and sometimes those ones are incredibly profitable. We've bought some of the, the lesser known coins before they became well known um, by doing our due diligence and our research. And in, on six occasions, we've actually made more than 10,000% on those coins where we actually did our homework and got into them early. It's kind of like buying Amazon or Apple before anybody had ever heard of it, rather than buying it when it's a household name. So investing into Bitcoin and Ethereum, yes, that's probably a good idea. Um, but then you miss out on some of the outperformance. And obviously when Bitcoin and Ethereum go down, some other altcoins might pop up and um, balance out your portfolio. Explain what the phrase coin of coins means. Uh, that's something just cute that we made up um, a few years ago because Boston Coin is, of course, it's a coin. It's a token that we send to your crypto wallet. You can hang on to it. You can sell it. You can give it to one of your friends if you want to because it's a coin. But inside of the coin, there are 40 or 50 other investments inside there. So that's why we call it a coin of coins, because rather than just buying Bitcoin or just buying Ethereum or just buying Solana, you can actually have 40 or 50 different coins in the one package. Okay, what coins, what coins make up the Boston coin and are there any Bitcoin or Ethereum? Yes, I think currently off the top of my head, there's about 25 to 35% Bitcoin. Uh, there's probably about 15% Ethereum. You can check on the um, Boston Coin website. Of course, those figures will change as we rebalance the portfolio from, from month to month. 
So you can look at those. Um, yes, definitely in there. And there's a whole bunch of other coins as well that you can look at in there. Okay, question. I have friends that trade crypto uh, and they have received 10 times their money on some coins. Why wouldn't I just follow them? Well, you can if you want. Um, I don't know who your friends are. I don't know if your friends are licensed financial professionals with 20 years experience or maybe just somebody who got lucky. It depends on how many friends you are because there is now around about 20,000 coins on coin market cap. So... Yeah, sooner or later, one of your friends is going to get lucky. Sooner or later, one of your friends is going to win the lottery or something like that. It doesn't mean they're going to be able to repeat. Um, if they got lucky once and they made 10 times their money on one coin, that's great, good for them. But that coin is probably not going to do that again. Uh, this is why, as I said before, you know, we've made 10,000% on no less than six different coins. And we're hoping, obviously, to do that again in the future because of the way that we do our methodology and our research. What are some of the advantages of Boston coin? I guess simplicity. That's why in the US, 90% of people invest through a fund manager, through a mutual fund. In Australia, it's 85% invest through a managed fund or a mutual fund rather than buying and choosing their own stocks and shares and things like that. In most of the English speaking countries, it's around about you know, between 75 and 90% of people trust a fund manager because you've got better things to do with your time you know your job is not to be a fund manager your job is to be an airline pilot or a mechanic or a mom or a cleaner or a taxi driver i don't know what you do for a living um, but most people prefer to have someone else look after it so they can concentrate on doing what they do best next question who chooses the coins in the portfolio and does that change because i don't know when to sell them <laughs> Um, we do have a team. Uh, primarily, it's myself who, who identifies the coins and then we look into the due diligence pro program uh, and checking out our coin protocol. If you don't know what the coin protocol is, you can find out in one of our blogs, in one of our newsletters. That's some information we give away for free is teaching you how to choose the best coins. If you are in that small, you know, 10 to 15% of people who want to do it yourself, the least we can do is help you to do it safely. Uh, we've got a few newsletters and um, videos on that on the Krillionaire site, krillionaire.com. Um, otherwise, yeah, there's a, there's a team of us who look into doing our homework and we just follow that four-step protocol. It's very simple, uh, but it does take a bit of time. If you're doing it five minutes research on a thousand different coins, obviously that can add up. Uh, and that's what we do. It's pretty simple, but it's obviously better if you get someone else to do it for you. Question, I heard that some coins have gone to zero. Was Boston in those coins? Um, yeah, if you'll, if you'll read from your newsletter, um, Luna and Terra, was it a couple of months ago, covered in the newsletter, um, those coins went effectively to zero, dropped by 99.999%. Uh, there were a few companies which we mentioned in the newsletter that actually lost billions and billions of dollars. Uh, some guys borrowed a billion dollars, put it in into Terra and Luna, and at the end of the day, their billion dollars was worth around about $600, $700. So obviously not very good. With our diversification protocol, protocol we were only invested around about 2.5% into the Terra Luna project. So obviously 97.5% of our coins were okay. We lost a little bit there, but obviously balanced out by having the other ones there. And that's part of the idea of safety and diversification. Next question, could I lose all my money with Boston coin? Um, I guess technically you could, but you would have to see Bitcoin go to zero, Ethereum go to zero, and 40 or 50 other coins, as well as a few uh, stocks and shares go to zero. So technically it is possible. Um, you can invest your money into stocks and shares. And even if you had 20 different stocks and shares, theoretically, all of them could go to zero. It's highly unlikely and depends on how you do the diversification and the balance. The recent crypto correction that we had in May, June of 2022, is actually the worst one that we've ever seen in crypto markets in 14 years. Um, Boston Coin's still here. So no guarantees on future performance, but obviously whether you're investing with us or whether you're doing your own investment, 
diversification is absolutely key. Um, that's basically the only way you can protect yourself. I mean, even funds in the bank have gone missing occasionally when banks have gone bankrupt. That has happened in many countries. And the only way to protect yourself against that would be investing and in, in having accounts with multiple different banks or hiding your money under the mattress. Obviously, hiding under your money under the mattress isn't going to be a great return on investment, although it is arguably more secure than the bank sometimes, except if someone breaks into your house or your house burns down. So again, fundamental analysis, fundamental principles, diversify, spread your risk, eggs in different baskets. That's what we do and that's what we hope you're doing as well. I'll talk to you soon. Please send in some more questions. I love having this chat because it's a bit more two-way than the normal YouTube because we're answering your questions for you and having a bit more of a dialogue. Cheers.